Leos, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at the general energy around you for the next 72 hours. Let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. If you want to see future readings from me, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a beat whenever I upload here on the channel. But let's see what's going on. First card is going to represent just the general energy around you for the next 72 hours. So we have the magician. The magician talks about using what you got to get to where you're trying to go and also just being aware of your personal power where maybe you've questioned it maybe you've been having moments of doubt or overthinking so this next 72 hour period you could be focusing on what you can do to get some money what you can do to make change within your life as a whole beyond just finances as well you could be questioning also is there a love interest or a friend or someone in your life at this moment who's manipulative like their intentions are they pure are they you know trying to get what they want out of the situation or just saying things and not necessarily meaning it so you could be assessing someone's motives during this time frame when it comes to career and finance let's look at that We have the king, oh, not the king, the queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles talks about us like taking the time out to nurture our finances, nurture our resources, or paying closer, closer attention to it. So for this next 72 hour time frame, you could be very mindful about how you're spending money. You could be asking certain questions around like how to experience a financial shift or what you need to do, what do you need to sacrifice? Uh, what financial changes do you need to make in order for this to happen? For any of my Leos who have a business, you could be taking the time out to nurture your business or reassessing like the services you offer or the products that you offer and trying to find ways to level up your skill. Yeah, some of you could even be questioning should I go into owning a business or offering services where I know how to do, let's say, hair, or I know how to do certain services that could potentially make me money? So that's something you could be looking closer at. Yeah, definitely trying to be cautious about how money is spent, though, during this time frame. Now, going into love, let's look at that. What's the energy around love for my Leos? We have the moon card. So you could be in a space to where you just don't know what's about to happen next with an existing connection or just in general for my singles, you could be single as a Pringle and this may be for a while or may have been for a while. And it's this question of like, okay, will things change or will I ever meet someone? The moon card also talks about worry or concern or us feeling like we don't really know all the answers or something's hidden if there is any secrets or any lies that may not necessarily be on the surface as time goes on it will be revealed to you especially with this card showing up and for others of you it's important you don't let worry cloud your judgment or make you make moves or decisions around your love connection that aren't really based in fact, just based off of, like we said, worry. Hmm. You could also feel like you don't really know where things lie between you and a new love interest. They could give you just this vibe that there are certain things that they're not saying or expressing or just putting out there. Now, what is the challenge you may run into for the next 72 hours? We have the emperor. So this could be a challenge with the person you have children with, a father figure. This could be an Aries, Taurus. This could be a boss. The challenge could also be just feeling like you want more control over your life or more autonomy in certain areas. So in your career, maybe you wanna be self-employed and it's challenging to figure out what you wanna do or how to be successful in that. Or 
maybe you want more autonomy in terms of leaving a family home and no longer being up under their roof and feeling like they're just overbearing. But as a whole, the challenge is staying in control of what you can be in control of and trying your best not to stress yourself out about the things that you can't do anything about. Now, the advice, we have the king of swords. So the advice is to be grounded in your decision making during this time frame. Don't make decisions based off of just how you feel. Make sure you're making decisions based off of what makes the most sense for you. And prioritize good communication. If you have somebody who's wanting to pick arguments or fight or disagree, or they could just be super hell bent on proving that they're right at, to a point to where it doesn't even allow you guys to get to a point of understanding or clarity, allow them to be in their self-righteousness, okay? And make sure you're not leaning into that where you're, you know, needing to prove yourself right or needing to make someone know that you're right when the bigger lesson is understanding them needing to understand how to be in alignment with, or how I say this, the bigger, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied with how I'm saying this, the bigger issue or the bigger focus should be on how they can come together with you and you guys can work through issues, not necessarily in this need to be right. There you go. That was so hard for me to say. I would say also too, if you're gonna be like signing any paperwork, getting into any legal agreements during this time frame, make sure you're talking over with the lawyer. Make sure that you're, again, being strategic around what you're doing. Okay, if you sign up for a loan, consider all the factors. If you're going to be moving into a new home or a new apartment, consider all factors. Now, the outcome for this time frame, we have the Five of Wands. So there could be issues with others that are coming up. There could be an issue with a family member, issue with a co-worker, issue with just someone else you could also be in a space to where you're just conflicted personally you may not know like okay i'm interested in this person romantically but i don't know what they have going on they could have drama that i don't want to be involved with or they seem conflicted on what they want so that could be a little bit annoying uh this could be just useless arguments that are coming up it's important like i said that you don't get into like little tiffs or arguments that don't necessarily have to be just dramatic or over overgrown. But I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.